Good day family. Today we look at how we can add interactivity to our wireframes with events. Events take place when a button is clicked for example, and also when content changes and these can be trapped. One can then specify what should happen when an event takes place. We have a few changes to our app, like applying padding and margins where necessary, so that it looks more appealing. This was done to remove most of the unnecessary space between components in our card. This card will act as a template for each of the notes and it will be color-coded. For the card, we have added some styling like width and top margin. This affects how the whole card is displayed in our list item. We also applied some styling to the content, this helped us place the bottom buttons appropriately. Without the applied margins and padding, there is a lot of empty space that is unused, we wanted to avoid that. We also removed the icons from the floating action buttons. Each button here indicates the color of the note to be added. When a button is clicked, the modal toolbar color is changed to match the color of the button. The toolbar has a color attribute that you can set when designing the toolbar. In our case, we indicated that the modal must have a toolbar and a color, however we can change these settings at runtime. For example, the toolbar title was just changed to edit note and not add note just now. This meant we changed the text of the title. Here we see that for the edit note target, when a click event happens. Set the text of the modal title to, edit note. We can apply multiple settings to be changed during the event, like value, attributes, styles, classes and so forth. For each button that will fire an event, we need to add an event to it and then specify which components to update during that event. The properties that can be changed are styles, attributes, classes, value and text of other components. For example, we want the note ID to be blank each time we add a note, so for each button that is for note adding, we need to update its event to change the note ID to be blank. To make the note ID to be blank, we need to change its value, it is an input component, so in our event, we will add a setting on the value change property that will affect the note ID. The app will find the newly updated event and then fire it when the button is clicked using JavaScript. For now there are a few settings that can be manipulated with this interactivity, however it's making our application more lifelike. You will also notice that the tree is now only expanding depending on what you have expanded. This enhancement ensures that you can just work with the section of components you need expanded.
When adding events, add them after the component, as a parent-child relationship. The event names listed will be based on the available events available for that component type. If there are no events, no event can be associated with that component. We want our note ID and note inputs to be blank each time we add a new note. This has now been done. The title of the modal toolbar is also changed and the color attribute also updated. We are re just ensuring that all the buttons work the same way. Whilst we have not given useful component names in this example, it is important that you give your component names, meaningful names. When you see the name, one must at least know what will happen about that component. Thank you.